What's up YouTube, Dre from Top of Tech, and today we're going to be taking a look at using Lightstream for your Xbox One streams on Mixer.com. Let's get started. First things first, you're gonna to need to make a Mixer account if you don't already have one. Uh, it'll link with your Microsoft account so that on your Xbox, when you stream from your Xbox, it'll stream directly through Mixer. Once you have that established and made right now, the live stream is set into a beta. As long as you're a pro member on Mixer, you'll see this under your managed channel page. You'll see the live stream beta tag here. And all you have to do is enable live stream to work for your streams, and then you'll enter the studio. Once you get to the studio, your studio page will look similar to this. I've already added a few things on here just to show you guys kind of what it looks like. Um, but yours will more look just like this when it first starts out. And then here's where you're wanting to kind of set up your entire page. So the first thing first is each one has a layer. So every layer is a portion of how your stream is presented to your viewers as you stream. So the first thing you want to add and make sure it's on there is your mixer feed, which is your gameplay from your Xbox. To mixer and that's what your chat will see the next layer is if you're wanting to add like an image or text um, on here we've already started we've made an image that is one that's made by default you can have powered by light stream uh, or if you have a logo that you want to add to your stream you can upload your own image as well too by clicking there I and mean, they have some pre-made ones even ones that have for like overlays for BRB uh, thanks for watching webcam overlay for your Xbox webcam if it's on the right or left and then you also have some top bars on the top and bottom it's pretty nice but essentially the main thing that you're probably watching now here is for is to get notifications on your stream to add notifications you're gonna have to use a third-party software so for example we use Streamlabs as our third-party software you'll click here and basically what this gives you is an empty box that you'll add the browser source that Streamlabs provides to you once you set up your notifications through streamlabs.com. Assuming you have a Streamlabs account and once you create that notification, you'll get to a section kind of like this here, where it'll then give you the option to have all of your notifications under one, or you can individually check off which ones you want to pop up with that particular URL. So we'll copy, for example, this one's for subscriptions. We'll copy this one for just followers. And then that way, once we come over to here, you simply paste it and then you'll give it a name we'll name this just followers now whenever we get a follower on our notification through streamlabs i'll send the test through right now boom wow. it'll come right there and it'll pop up directly over your feed so whenever you're playing on your xbox it'll show up there we've already integrated a lot of our other integrations so for example we have a donation goal at the very bottom same setup is you'll make the donation goal in Streamlabs. You'll get the browser source code and you'll plug that in. That way you can then lay it out wherever you would like to or in your top of your stream. The follower alerts, subs and donos, uh, as well as you have this image here for saying that it's powered by Lightstream. It's not required to have that there, but I just wanted to show you that you can have that show through your stream. It's pretty cool. And that's it, you're set up, that's done. You can then power and kind of manage what goes on during your stream while you're live on the website. However, you don't have to do anything on the website anymore. This would really be more for managing your actual like layout if you wanted to move things. Based on the game, say if your webcam is covering this particular picture or if you wanted to angle this and make this smaller, you can go through the web, the web page to actually quickly make quick edits. But once you set it up, you set it and you forget it. We did show an example while we were live, and I want to kind of play this video of what it looks like when you're live and how it plays back to you, uh, to your audience. So here's a clip of our stream earlier today that will show you an example of what we were talking about. There we go. That easy. <laughs> so everything we just went through with the whole setup process, uh, and then you just enable it and you go live. So now we have a donation goal so we can get a new controller. No delay. It takes up a stream from a PC. Yeah, like my PC. I'm just watching my stream now. 
it's and, and let's test the delay right so streaming through live stream you don't get ftl speeds you don't get the 0.2 second delay um so if somebody wants to type in chat like five five numbers i'll read them out as fast as i possibly can read them i'm watching chat intently five numbers no 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 like no like a series of five numbers in one line one line that's too many numbers chip Four, five, seven, three, one. One, two, three. That's not enough numbers, Jim. I said one, two, three. It's three, two, one. It's too many numbers, firm. Three second delay. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. The stream. And that's going to be it. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below. I do at love answering questions. Even when I'm live on stream, I, I go live every day at 9 a.m. CST. So if you want to come in and ask me questions live, we can go over as much as we want uh, while, while we're there. So if you do have any questions, hit me up on Twitter, Discord, Instagram, all those places. It's at Topic Tech or the Discord is discord.gg forward slash Topic Tech. Until next time, deuces.